Fella. What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to use this Displace plugin and how I created the intro title sequence. So once you've downloaded the file, what you want to do is open that up, unzip it and copy that into your motion templates titles folder. So go up here to go, uh, home, movies, motion templates and you want to put it in your titles folder. I've got it saved just there. So once you've done that then go back into Final Cut Pro and you want to go to your titles folder and you'll find it just there. What you want to do is just drag that over your footage. So it already comes with the text on but you don't have to use this. You can actually use other text plugins or just normal text that you have. So I'm just going to delete this right now. And if you go up here to the settings on the plugin and go to this little drop zone here, click the drop zone and you can use any shape um, for this but I'm going to use this checker one right here. This plugin works best with PNG shapes so shapes that have transparent backgrounds on like either a 4K or 1080p canvas size. I'm just going to use this, click on this checkered one right here, apply clip and as you can see that's like added the image displacement which looks pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is move that so it covers the whole of the clip and at the very start I'm going to put the amount to zero. I'm going to hit the keyframe button and then I'm going to go to the end right before the end and just change the settings to minus 17 on this one. So now it sort of slowly fades into the checkered shape and the text I used over this was actually a plugin from Leon FX Clean Love Thirds. I'll leave the link for this in the description as well. But what I did, I just made that the same length of, as my other title. I moved it into the center. I made it a bit bigger. And for the little glitch at the end, what I did was went right to the end of the plugin, hit the keyframe button. Uh, went back one frame and just turn this right down to minus one, move back one frame again and put it up to one. So that's going to create like a little, little glitch effect and you can also find some sound effects in the download folder. So I've got this like camera shutter click effect. So I'm just going to select that and import it at the end. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You can really customize this one and use a load of different shapes to create some really cool effects. So if you like this plugin, then I've also created a full download pack which has way more shapes and presets that you can use. So yeah, I think you guys can create some really unique titles with this plugin. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next one.